Dear students, in this video, we shall discuss shapes of molecules by using VSCPR tube. VSCPR basically is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. It tells us about the shapes and geometry of the molecule in a very comprehensive way. Now, there are two points of this theory that are known as the heart of the VSCPR theory. The first one is valence electron pairs repel each other. Now, question is why? Because these electrons are negatively charged so that's why they repel each other and second main point of this theory is lone pair of electrons occupies more space than bonded pair electrons okay friends so here are some postulates of vscpr theory we shall use all these postulates in our next examples when we solve examples, when we predict shapes of molecules by using these postulates, then you will easily understand. For the prediction of shapes, now we have to draw Lewis structures first. After that, we shall use VSCPR theory. So, how to draw Lewis structures? I have explained all the process in my previous video. So if you didn't watch and you don't know how to draw Lewis structures, please watch that video first. After that, you can easily understand everything. Okay, now here, when we draw Lewis structure for BeCl2, Lewis structure of BeCl2 is here. And similarly, BF3, we can draw Lewis structure by using five steps that have been explained in my previous video and we can draw Lewis structure for methane we can draw Lewis structure for nitrite ion and similarly we can draw Lewis structures for ammonia and water molecules okay friends for VSCPR theory we have to find the type of the molecule for the sake of using VSCPR theory okay what is that type now, for VSCPR model, we write central atom as A. And how many bonded atoms with this central atom? 1 and 2. So, we write it as B2. B mean bonded and 2 mean 2 atoms. So, type of BECI2 is AB2. Now, what is the type of BF3 molecule? It is AB3. The type of methane molecule? It is AB4. Type of nitrite ion? Dear viewers, now it is a little bit different. How? Now, central atom as A, okay, and how many bonded atoms? Two. So, B2. One more thing, dear students, here in VSCPR theory, we use single, double, and triple bond in the same way. We treat double and triple bond as a single covalent bond. So there is a no difference between single, double, and triple bond in VSCPR theory. So now come back to our discussion. How many bonded atoms? Two. And there is a one electron pair. Here, that is lone pair. And how many pairs? One. So, we shall write E1. So, type of this ion is AB2E1. AB2E1. Okay. So, similarly, what is the type of ammonia molecule? A, B, 3, E, 1. And water molecule? A, B. Okay. Now we shall discuss all these examples step by step. Now B is Cl2. It has type A, B, 2. Now, any molecule with the type of A, B, 2. 
its geometry will be linear and bond angle between atoms is 180 degrees. Now here in BF3 type of molecule is AB3. So any molecule with AB3 type its geometry will be trigonal planar. Trigonal due to these three corners. It is a trigonal planar because all these atoms are in a plane. I will show you in 3D models and bond angle between atoms it is 120 degrees. Here it is. So actual shape, actual geometry of BF3 molecule is like this. Okay. Now nitrite ion. Okay friends, its type is AB2E1. Now any molecule, ion or radical species with AB2E1 type, its geometry will be V shape or bent. In our next example, CH4, it is AB4. So any molecule with AB4 type, it is tetrahedral. And bond angle between atoms is 109.5. Okay, next is ammonia. Its type is AB3E1. Any molecule with AB3E1 type, its geometry is a trigonal pyramidal and bond angle is 107 okay friends so now here we are changing one bond with one electron pair so what happens this bond angle decreases because this lone pair occupies more space as it occupies more space so this bond angle decreases from 109.5 to 107 and we say it is a trigonal planar. Why trigonal? Because of these three, it is trigonal and pyramidal because its shape is like pyramid. Like pyramid. This one. So it is trigonal pyramidal. Okay, our next example is water H2O. Its type is AB2E2. Now, any molecule with AB2E2 type, then its geometry will be like this. It is V-shape or bent. All examples here in one screen. Now you see types and with, with their geometry and bond angles. Now I will show you all these molecules in 3D rotation. Then you will easily understand. Okay friends, now here is a 3D model of all these types we have already studied. Now here is the central atom. If we have two bonded atoms, so it is A, B, 2. And bond angle between these two atoms it is 180 degree and it is linear okay if we have a b3 type three bonded atoms now here you see the bond angle is 120 degree between these atoms and it is trigonal planar why it is planar because all these atoms are in one plane now you see here in one plane okay okay friends now if we change one bonded pair of electrons with lone pair of electrons so what will happen here it is it is a b 2e1 now this lone pair of electrons occupies more space so this bond angle changes from 120 to 170 or around about 116.7 like this in some molecules it depends on these bonded atoms okay now if we have a b4 type 
that is tetrahedral now what is actual shape of tetrahedral like this and bond angle between all atoms is 109.5 now you see here it is 3d model okay now if we have a b 3 e 1 it means three bonded atoms and one electron pair so here it will be now its shape is trigonal planar and bond angle changes from 109.5 to 107 now you see here okay students if we have a b2 e2 it means two lone pair of electrons and two bonded pairs so here it is like in water molecule now these two lone pair of electrons occupy more space this bond angle again changes from 107 to 104.5 and it is bent or v shape like this it is v shape or bent okay friends now these are 3D models of sp3 hybridized structures for VSCPR theory. Friends, now when we take a real example of these molecules, here is a BECL2 beryllium chloride molecule. Now bond angle is 180 degree and it is linear. Okay, if we have BF3, so this is BF3 molecule and it is trigonal planar and bond angle is 120 degree. If we have CH4, now CH4 molecule, it is tetrahedral and bond angle is 109.5 degree. Now here it is. Okay, students, hope you understood all the discussion we have done in this video. But still, if you have any question, just write that question in comments below. Also, for more videos, please subscribe and press bell icon so you can get my latest videos.